welcome to my fabulous little kitchen. Today I'm going to teach you the wonderful ancient art of cooking your mince absolutely perfectly every time. Now, mince is a dish that we cook as a family at least once a week. It's economical, we can get hold of it very, very easily. But if your mince is grey or if there's grey liquid in the pan, we can really benefit from learning how to get rid of that and how to make it absolutely super and special every single time. So join me in a second and I'll show you everything you need to know. So guys, one of the most important things about mince, and this is just a lean mince from your supermarket. Now you can use a budget mince, but obviously there's gonna be a lot more oil out of there, so just be careful with that. Sometimes it's worth paying a little bit more and getting um, with less fat. So guys, actually, most of your recipes will say to put the onion in first, but I like to put the mince in first. So when we put the mince in and the pan is nice and hot, you'll hear that beautiful sizzle, which will actually solve all of your problems. Now, generally, for a family of four, you're cooking about 600 grams of uh, mince. Now, generally, that would overcrowd your pan. And what we always like to do is um, stir that mince really right from the outset. Now that is probably one of the worst things you can do. And um, if you are a compulsive stirrer, you might have to learn how to just back away for the, from the pan for a little bit because when I add that mince to the pan, what I want is that first layer to get nice and brown and fragrant first. Then and only then will I actually move that mince around the pan. So this might freak some people out, but if you could smell this right now, what you would smell is beautiful, sexy roast beef. It smells really good. Now, um, we are going to start breaking that mince down first because we actually don't want lump, lumps in our mince. So um, if you've got a little plastic whisk like that, that really works well at breaking down that mince um, so that we don't have lumps later on. And if you can see there, I'm just going to keep a little bit of that pan um, naked or empty so that I can manage any of the grey liquid coming out. You can hear it sizzling. So I'm going to try and maintain that lovely hot sizzle in the pan. This is gonna brown off that beef, and by browning off the beef all by itself, early on in the cooking process, you're gonna eliminate the need to disguise it with all those different sauces that you might usually have to use. So there's a lot of browning going on in here, which means that the meat is caramelizing down, and we're gonna get all those beautiful flavors. So while it's doing that, I always say it gives you more time to do other happy things around the kitchen. While that mince is cooking down, I'll quickly show you how to chop down an onion really quickly. And of course, because we're only cutting the onion and it's going in second, I'm gonna to have to make sure that that is a very fine um, dice that we have on the onion, which is really easy to do. So guys, best thing to do when we're cutting that onion nice and fine is I've got my little serrated paring knife. We're just gonna cut down into the onion like that. And I always say if it goes red, stop cutting immediately. Um, cutting down into it, as you can see, I've opened that right up. All right, and now if we just slice off like that, you're gonna have beautiful, finely diced onion. So guys, in that little bit of time that it took us to chop down that onion, this mince is gorgeous, it's brown, it's rendered all the fat out of itself, and that's actually allowed it to caramelize down, and it's beautiful and fragrant. Like I said, it smells just like roast beef at this stage. And as you can see, it's nice and loose, there's no big lumps, and it's nice and brown. So all we need to do now is add those onions and add our seasoning, and this is gonna be the most beautiful mince ever. Now this is very finely chopped onion, like I just showed you, into this beautiful fragrant mince. So um, I have turned the heat down just a little bit, and now we can add those gorgeous spices. Now guys, this is a really exciting stage, because at this stage we can do anything we want to this mince. So we can make it Moroccan style, we can make it Mexican, we could even add some porcini uh, mushrooms minced up with some tarragon um, and make it nice and Mediterranean. Um, but what we're gonna do today is I'll make my own beautiful blend of a Raz Al Hanou. I call it a culinary spray tan. And that's exactly what I've got over here. It's a beautiful mix of spices. Um, as you can see, it's lovely and bright and yellow. And we don't actually have to add a lot because now we've got flavor already in the mince. Okay, so like I said, you don't have to put a lot of this in. So I'm gonna put about one or two teaspoons of that beautiful spice. Now you can of course make your own and I'll actually give that recipe to you as well. If you're wanting just to give it a little bit of a lift, just a quarter of a teaspoon of turmeric will also lift that color. I call it happy yellow mince because it looks like it's got a lovely suntan and it just looks so much more glamorous than if it's gray and nasty. As you can see, what that Raz Al Hanou and the turmeric has done, it's given us a gorgeous, gorgeous color. This mince looks like it's had a beautiful spray tan. So we're just gonna let that cook through and then you can add all sorts of other things like chickpeas and of course vegetables. 
I actually call this adding in free flavor because if you just take a little bit of the lemon zest and, and I mean only the zest and so none of the white bits and just put a little bit of in, that into there, it will really lift and freshen up the flavor of that mince. Um, and that really is very easy to do because generally you have a lemon lying around and if you could smell that now, it smells absolutely glorious. Guys, I'm also just going to add some beautiful fennel. The fronds are really nice because then we can add a little bit of that green. It's really easy to chop down. So just use your nice big chef's knife and I'm going to chop it down really fine. You don't really want this to be very big in there. We want to cook it down as quickly as the onion. So I've chopped some down there and now we just add that to the pan as well. I'm just going to add some lovely um, chopped tomatoes. I've used cherry tomatoes, but you can use any tomatoes you want. And I've just chopped them nice and fine just to give it a bit of moisture. Um, to that dish. Obviously it'd be quite dry. You can of course use a passata as well and then just stir that through and the next thing, last thing, will be those chickpeas. These are just chickpeas out of a tin and obviously I've drained them and then this will add a beautiful bit of texture to that as well as well as bulking up your dish and of course if we've said it's uh, Moroccan or Middle Eastern, chickpeas are very authentic and they will be lovely in there. This is going to be like a mince goodie bowl. It's going to be absolutely delicious. If it's looking a bit dry, I can put a bit of tomato passata through there or just a little bit of stock will work as well. This is nearly ready to serve. Last thing we're going to do is adjust the seasoning. Always adjust the seasoning before you serve. So if you wanted to use a little bit of uh, stock powder, you could, or even some flake salt would be lovely. So just make sure you taste it before you serve it. That has cooked down. The onions are soft. The chickpeas are also nice and soft. They've incorporated themselves into that dish. Um, this is really smelling very good. What I'm going to show you how to do now is how to make this look fabulous. So guys, I know it's only mince, but this is where the magic happens if we plate it up perfectly, because then we get a round of applause. So the um, best way to transport mince or anything that's uh, threatening to fall off the spoon is just place your little saucer over there and that'll help you be nice and neat. All right. So what we're going to do is top that with all sorts of beautiful things. We've got lovely fresh rocket and all sorts. You can put anything you like on there and really make this pop. Best thing to do is drizzle that. So I've got a beautiful fresh lemon oil here. Of course, make sure it's fresh and make sure it's in date. All right, so they'll just fall beautifully. And then what we're going to do is top this with a matching culinary bling. So we're going to bash down some pistachios and dates and put some beautiful yogurt on there and it's going to look absolutely fabulous. Okay, pistachios are beautiful. First of all, they're going to add beautiful crunch and they are a beautiful green color. So we're just going to bash those down. Um, I always say this is a good stress reliever if you've had a bad day. Um, don't bash it, bash it down too much so that it's an absolute powder. We want to sort of have them just sort of half cracked in little bits so we can appreciate um, what they are and just have them bashed down into a nice pistachio gravel. I'm just going to chop these dates down just so that they're about the same size as those pistachios. You can either use your big fancy knife or just a pair of scissors will do the job for you. So it depends on what's closest. Guys, for our culinary bling, this is where we make the magic happen. Like I said, we've got our pistachios in there. I'm going to add a little bit of the chopped dates. Now you can add any dried fruit that you might have um, with you. Just to match our mince, I'm also going to add a little bit of that Raz Al Hanous spice, just a wee bit. And I've got some beautiful rose petals here, which will add some beautiful mystery and color to that dish. Um, and those are quite easy to get hold of. Of course, you can use fresh edible flowers as well, if you had any. And that looks absolutely glorious. So I'll just give that a stir. It's really important to plan your meals. And I know that sounds very chefy, but what I'm meaning is we make sure that the flavor of the dish is fantastic because remember that's just a mince but we're also going to make sure that the colors are beautiful and it comes to texture as well so we don't want everything to be soft we want to add some nice crunch and we don't want everything to be crunchy so that lovely mince is beautiful and soft and the crunchy um, rocket and our beautiful pistachio gravel even though we've dressed that rocket with some beautiful lemon oil i'm also going to add some uh, yogurt that i've just it was a little bit thick, so I just put a little bit of water in, and I'm going to give this plate a very sexy yogurt swirl. And that is our beautiful and very sexy mince dish for today. So if you're dishing up for a dinner party, we might need to go a little bit more extravagant. I'm going to show you how to use one of these beautiful stacking rings. I'm putting that mince into the stacking ring, and 
just use a soup spoon or a tablespoon, something that's actually going to fit in the top of there. All we do is use that really just to compact it down. You want to get this really nice and tight. Those chickpeas will actually smash and hold everything together. And then we can just pull that up, make sure you've smashed it nicely, and voila, the stacking ring. To finish it off, some of that lovely yogurt that we've thinned down it comes beautifully off the spoon. Look at that, very designer. And last but not least, our beautiful crumbs. Those are our pistachio um, and rose petal gravels. And you can even put a little bit of um, the green on top if you would like with the lemon oil to finish. So we'll just do the same as what we did. A little bit of a twirl, get it nice and tight and have it on the top there. It looks like a little high heel and drizzle with the lemon oil and your beautiful dish is done.